small in Washington, D.C., our nation's capital. What a majestic subject for a true artiste such as myself. And today, I am immortalizing the Lincoln Memorial in paint. Let's see, number seven, slightly polluted sky blue. Where's the numbers? Well, I mean, what the well, well, that's it. The eight will be, um, we're making up as we go along. Larry Bird, curator here at the Smithsonian's National Museum of American History. And the exhibit is called Accounting for Taste in the 50s, Paint by Numbers. Should it be accounting for no taste? Well, the show is about the hobbyists that did paint by number. The, the artists and the entrepreneurs, the manufacturers that uh, conceived the hobby and the critics who universally reviled it. These are my first memories of my paintings. We were very proud of them, and I remember my mother framed them and hung them along the stairway. I've been fortunate enough to be able to travel enough to go to Paris. These and places. maybe the original desire was kindled by these But Absolutely. You're so lucky there's no paint by number of the Bronx. Oh. <laughs> Okay, Marley, so I finished your nails just yeah. like you wanted them. Teal blue. Yeah. Now maybe you can help with our picture. How about sure. some Republican red, number four? All right. Right over there, the car. You know, I work in oil. <laughs> so does Dick Cheney. You know who he is? No. So, Shay, isn't the mall here in D.C. beautiful? It's nice, you know. No, it's not exactly like the one in Cleveland, but I like it. It's a place to shop. It would take, I know. Oh, Michelangelo. It looks like about 40 years ago uh, when I tried to paint that. Maybe a bit longer. Tried? Yeah. How my, far did you get? Well, my rocks were kind of just black. So, Larry, whoever painted this didn't know when to stop. They extended it right into the frame. Well, exactly. That's the, that's the wonder of this. This is outside the kit. Mm. So, in doing so, he's taking the first step toward an art, uh, which really goes outside the frame itself towards originality. Exactly. How dare he! <laughs> Paul, can you believe it? The Last Supper, hanging right here in Washington. What do you think that's worth? Oh, probably $10 a plate. Terry, do you ever do paint by number? Oh, just very little bit, not very much. Just your shirt, apparently, it looks like. Uh, <laughs> we're up to uh, number five, which is filibuster mustard. Go ahead. We're going to do the upper column. A little filibuster mustard, number five. There you go. Can you do my kitchen? That's probably a little easier <laughs> than, than a stay nice. between the lines. Well, you know what they say about paint by number? Every man a Rembrandt. There you go. I like that. We lived on a farm for a while, and of course, you needed something to pass the time, so these were very good for passing the time. Well, there's the plenty to do on a farm to pass the time. Well, there's milking and there's planting. Well, and... I didn't do the hard stuff. Uh -huh. <laughs> I was just a little girl. Well, they had very rustic little. scenes. They had rustic scenes of... Uh, farmhouses and little mills and things like that. Yeah, but when you live with cows, you don't want to paint them. <laughs> Wait, this one was done by FBI Director J. Edgar Hoover. Get out! J. Edgar Hoover painted this? And the FBI misplaced it for 50 years. It's on the 10 least wanted list, this painting. <laughs> J. Edgar Hoover. And look, I'm leaving my fingerprints. What else we have? Well, we have another one that hung in the White House by singer Ethel Merman. Ethel Merman, the singer, did this? Exactly. Sing with me. There's no There's business. There's no business like show <laughs> business like no business I know. Come on, Larry. Uh, we're up to number eight. Okay. That's the trees. That's bush green. Bush go right green. ahead. Okay. There you go. Knock yourself out. There we go. Number eight, right? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. Pretty? Because, you know, Bush is the environmental president. Behold the grandeur of the tree. Feel its many textures. Appreciate all its colors. This is uh, where paint by number, I think, really comes out with its greatest claim toward helping people see the world outside the frame. You can see in one of these trees at least 10 colors. It's true. If you count them, it gives you a different way of looking at things, which I think is what any art would aspire. I think that I shall never tree. see a paint by number like a tree. <laughs> ah, my masterpiece is complete. You know, these things don't look half bad when you finish painting in all the numbers. Well, all that's left to do for me is to sign my work. Mitchell Angelo. Ah. Well, that's it for this week, art lovers. Join us again next time when we visit the Louvre for the big Connect the Dots exhibit.